Hello and welcome to Welcome to Import Legacy. I am Emerald and this is... Tetsuo. Tetsuo. And today we're talking about Akira and its importance and influence on Western culture. Akira? Akira? <laughs> you, know Akira? you know where it is! <laughs> you know where Akira is! Take this, take this, take this, take this. There. Alright, I don't think there'll be any more interruptions now. So, just what exactly is Akira? Akira is... A manga created by Katsura Tomo. Its original run lasted eight years, from 1982 to 1990. In 1988, it was adapted to a film that was met with praise from critics and fans around the world. It follows Shitaro Kaneda, leader of the Capsules, a notorious biker gang currently at war with another gang called the Clowns. His life is changed forever when his friend, Tetsuo, gets into an accident and comes in contact with an esper on the run from the government. Akira takes place in a cyberpunk, post-apocalyptic future version of Tokyo, appropriately called Neo-Tokyo. The original Tokyo was destroyed by a nuclear bomb that started World War III. <laughs> bomb. Excuse me? Nothing. Oh, why? Otomo wrote Akira to raise the question, what would the world be like if nuclear war was more commonplace? He was one of several Japanese artists who explored this idea in their stories, like Heo Miyazaki, Grave of the Fireflies, and Osamu Tezuka's Astro Boy. Otomo's ideals were able to reach a new audience and stimulate discussion. It also shook up the sci-fi genre in the West. For example, in the first Matrix, there's a scene where Neo meets the children of the Oracle. This is inspired by a scene at the end of Akira, where Kaneda meets the other espers. The third matrix features an explosion that parallels the explosion that destroys Tokyo. A telekinetic child with the affinity for destruction, like Tetsuo, also has been explored in the sci-fi genre. We can see this in Stranger Things. With the one of its main characters, Eleven. She is a strong, destructive force who just only wanted to be a child, not a weapon. I wonder what a fight between her and a Tetsuo would be like. I definitely win. We'll see about that. Akira also has extended its influence to video games. Half-Life has an entire level dedicated to the scene where we first meet Akira inside the lab. Too bad Half-Life 3 is going to come out when Kingdom Hearts 3 does. But it didn't stop there. Akira's blast range extends as far as Western music. Kanye West's song, Stronger, featuring Daft Punk, is basically Akira as a music video. He recreates several scenes and takes on the role of Tetsuo. He tried to be like me? On to even bigger artists, the one and only king of pop, Michael Jackson. <laughs> a scene from the movie can actually be seen on one of the screens in his music video for Scream. And now I'll leave you with a quote from the movie. The future is not a straight line. It's filled with many crossroads. There must be a future that we can choose ourselves. 